Alright, alright guys, welcome back to another video. Day number 13 of my Thanksgiving menu. And I have another dessert here. This is what we grew up eating here in the south. And it's known in the Caribbean islands. This is sweet potato pone. We call it sweet potato pone. But it's an easy, simple dish to put together. Nice, quick dessert. So let's jump into this video and I'm going to show you exactly how it's done. Alright, so... What I'm going to be using in this is three sweet potato. Uh, I got three eggs, one stick of unsalted butter, some flour, that's one cup of light brown sugar, some vanilla extract, some evaporated milk, and some cinnamon. Now, some people add molasses, ginger, and uh, nutmeg to this, but I don't. So, what I'm going to do is just get my potatoes peeled and grated, and then I'll be back to put this together. Alright, so I am done getting those potatoes grated. Now I have my butter melted and I'm just adding my brown sugar to it. Then I'm going to come in and add some cinnamon to it. And I'm going to have the exact measurements in the description for both my version and the version that uses molasses and nutmeg and all of that other stuff. And I'm going to add some vanilla extract to this. Alright, then I'm going to come in and I'm going to add my flour to it. Now, normally I don't use flour. Oh, excuse me, that's my uh, evaporated milk and then my flour next. But as I was grating these potatoes, I can tell that they had a little extra moisture in it. So that's why I'm adding the flour to kind of make sure that it really sets up. Alright, I'm just going to come and give this a mix just to get everything well uh, incorporated. And don't be like me guys, use your whisk. But I just absolutely like using spoons. I'm not used to all of that fancy whisk and stuff. <laughs> so definitely use your whisk. But after I got it smooth, then I'm going to come in and add my beaten eggs to this. Alright, then I'm just going to get that mixed in. Alright, and that is it guys. Once you get your eggs mixed in, then I'm just going to come in and add my potatoes to this. And get all of that mixed in and then they'll be ready. To move it over to the uh, to my bacon pan. So I'm just going to come in and dump my grated potatoes into this. All right, let's just give this a mix. Get everything. Mix well together, and then I'm going to spray my uh, bacon pan with some bacon spray, and then we'll get it in the oven. All right, guys, so I got my pan all sprayed here. Now I'm going to come in and just add this. Mix it into the bottom of it. Just want to get all of that inside of here. Interception, game over. Okay, <laughs> excuse me, guys. <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> watching my 49s. But we just want to get this down in here. And guys, you can see the liquid around the side of this. These potatoes are pretty wet, they had a lot of moisture in it. And once I noticed that as I was grating them, that's when I decided I was going to add a little bit of flour to this to really help this set up. So I'm just spreading this out. Then I'm going to get it in the oven. This needs to cook for about 30, anywhere between 30 and 45 minutes. And I'm going to put it on 350 and I'll check it after 30 minutes. Alright, so this actually needs to cook, sorry guys, for about 40 to 50 minutes. 
And I checked it exactly after 40 minutes. And this is how it looks. Now you want to make sure that you cover it. Also, I didn't see that in the previous slide. But make sure that you cover it so that it gives your potatoes a chance to get tender. So this is how it looks after 40 minutes. And I'm going to put it back in the oven for about 5 to 10 minutes uncovered. And that's going to give me uh, my crispy edges and a nice brown color on the top. Alrighty, right guys, so this has now been 50 minutes total, 40 minutes covered, and 10 minutes uncovered. You can see it's nice and bubbling around the edges, so that lets me know that this is done. And what I'm going to do is just let this cool down completely before I cut it. That's going to give it a time, give it time to firm up, and I should get a nice clean cut. So once I come back and cut this, um, I'll give it a taste test for you guys. All right, guys, let's give this a quick taste. I know this part. This one part right. So, you know that held together perfectly. That egg and that little bit of flour. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. That's it. Potatoes nice and tender. Can't go wrong with butter. Brown sugar, cinnamon. For my taste, I could have even added a little bit more cinnamon, but still good. Mm. All right, guys, you definitely got to try this. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. Also hit the post notification bell. and let you know when I post a new video. And the next video guys is going to be a sweet potato cake. And that's going to be followed by sweet potato pie. So follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Cooking and Chilling with Kenny. And until next time guys. Peace.